So I have been a mom for officially two months and I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. So I thought that I would finally show you guys some items that I use pretty much every day with a newborn. Huge thank you to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. I am gonna talk about them in a little bit, but for now, let's crack on with my must-haves. So first up, I wanna talk about this breastfeeding pillow. This is by the brand Butter, and this has made breastfeeding so much more comfortable for me and my baby. Like, breastfeeding is freaking hard, man. Since it's in this crescent moon shape, it just goes right around the waist. You you plop the baby on top and then you guide him to the boob. When I'm using this, I don't have to like hunch over or use so much arm strength. It's just nice that I can just rest the baby here. I also want to do a shout out to my breast friend. Now this is the first breastfeeding pillow that I started off with. Like this is what trained me to be the breastfeeder that I am now. Like I'm still not a pro, but this definitely helped. There's like an adjustable belt here so you can snap it around your waist. And this one has so much more surface area. It's like legitimately a table. So you can put your elbows on here, your arms, and obviously the baby goes here. And yeah, you can just use this as a surface to really hone in on your breastfeeding skills. Fun fact, when you are nursing on one boob, the other boob likes to get going and milk starts coming out. So instead of having that milk just runneth over and go to waste, you can actually collect it using a haka. Now this is very simple to use. You just need to pull back the flange and then squeeze the base and then plop your nipple into the hole and let it go. All the milk starts to dribble out. It's Kind of satisfying to see how much milk you collect, but you can get like, I don't know, like an ounce or maybe two And it's great because I can just put that in a bottle and then someone else can feed him later on If you have a baby, you are going to need some burp cloths Now, before I became a mom, I thought that just like a little dainty burp cloth would do No, you need a large fluffy absorbent one and these ones are superior not only are they large enough they're also like a little bit thin so it tucks underneath his chin quite well with babies there's so much spit up so much drool like biblical proportions of drool so it's nice to have a very chic burp cloth that can sop it all up so this is where we change Lennon's diapers now when babies go to the restroom it gets all over the place it can get explosive it can squirt I mean I have been peed on so many times. It's gonna get messy. So that's why it's really great to have a surface area that you can just wipe off after you're done. The material kind of feels like like a yoga mat, but like softer. And I like the fact that it's not like too cold to the touch. We dispose the diapers in our Ubi diaper pail. Now we decided to get a separate trash can for his diaper specifically because it smells. That's where he defecates. That's where he urinates. And so it's nice to just have it all in one place and some place where it can seal the smell. You can pop the diaper in there and then seal it back up. And it does a really great job maintaining the freshness of the room and it just looks really cute. Y'all already know how much I love to keep my environment nice and clean, but ever since Lennon has gotten into the picture, I have been even more conscious about what types of products I'm using to clean, especially in the nursery. This is why I am so excited to be using Blue Land. I first heard about them on Shark Tank and I immediately loved everything that they stood for. Not only are their products sourced from clean ingredients, they also use no single-use plastic in any of their components from their bottles, their tablets, wrappers, even the shipping. So I've been using their Clean Essentials Kit. It comes with the multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, glass and mirror cleaner, and the foaming hand soap. It's really easy to get started too. All you have to do is fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water. You drop one of the tablets in, pop the nozzle on after the tablet fully dissolves. You don't need to shake or stir. It's just gonna be ready in minutes. Blue Land's products are vegan and cruelty-free, and they're made without ammonia, VOC, soya nut, chlorine bleach, and parabens. They're also EPA certified, which means EPA scientists have combed through every single ingredient in the product to make sure it meets Safer Choices stringent criteria. This puts my heart at ease knowing that we're making the decision to protect our family and the environment by choosing to use safer chemical choices. I highly recommend the Clean Essentials Kit, which is basically your starter pack for everything that you're gonna need. I'm gonna leave a link for 20% off 
on the kit in the description box whether you live in the US, Canada, UK, New Zealand, or Australia. This is the device that I have a love and hate relationship with. This is my breast pump. This is by Spectra. I am like pretty much tethered to this machine because I'm just like trying to up my milk supply. So when you're trying to create more milk, the only way you can do that is by stimulating your nipples more. It's on a supply and demand basis. So ideally it would be great if your baby is the one that's constantly sucking and stimulating the nipples to trigger your body to create more milk. But if your baby is anything like mine and it doesn't feel like latching sometimes, Sometimes, you're gonna need a pump to get that milk out. If you're gonna go on a pumping journey, you're also gonna need a pumping bra. I had no idea that like the bra didn't come with the actual breast pump, but I really like this bra because it has like Velcro straps so you can adjust the size. Like after you give birth, your body is just constantly fluctuating in size. So it's been nice that like I can adjust the straps as my body decides to like grow or shrink. So this is where I store my pumped milk. This is my beautiful Smeg refrigerator. I absolutely love it so much. This was a super generous gift from my husband for my birthday. I do two pumps in the middle of the night, 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. and it was always so disruptive to put the milk in the kitchen in the fridge. So I've been wanting to get a fridge for upstairs but he just went like above and beyond and got me this gorgeous one. Even when my breastfeeding journey is over, this is gonna be great to store drinks, snacks, all that jazz. Even a kimchi fridge in the future, who knows. After I hand wash my bottles, I will sterilize them in my Wabi. Now I opted for this one because this dries and sterilizes and it looks freaking dope. So if I wanted to do the dry and the sterilize, I would press this button over here. And if I just wanted to sterilize it, I would use the little sun button. This sterilizes using UV light. I love the fact that we can continue using the sterilizer even after he's done with the bottle. We can sterilize all his utensils when he starts eating solids in this machine. And also, it's just good to have a sterilizer for everything from like your phone case, your keys, all that stuff. Baby's nails grow ridiculously fast and they're also really thin, but also razor sharp. And if you just let them grow, your baby's just gonna tear up their face. So you have to grind those nails down and this filer is perfect because if you're using like a little baby clipper for the nails, it's scary because their extremities are just so, so small. So it's nice to have like this very painless grinder that just softly, gently erodes away the nail. Newborns are recommended to have 10 to 15 minutes of tummy time and tummy time is essentially where you put your baby on a play mat on their stomach and you just have them practice lifting up their neck muscles. When newborns come out of the womb, they're just so so fragile, their necks are all floppy, so they need to have activities like this to strengthen the muscles back there. And we have been loving this playmat by Aiden and Anais. We place him down to do tummy time and he tolerates it. And then we flip him on his back so that way he can enjoy all the little plushies on the mobile. These are also Velcro, so you can snap them on and off. And once he starts to like grab things, he can actually play with the toys. So now that Lennon is two months old, he does have like a little bit of neck strength, but now he can sit in his Baby Bjorn lounger. This is the perfect spot to dock our child when we are having dinner together or even if we're watching TV. Cause sometimes like he doesn't want to be held. Isn't that crazy? He's already so independent. He's practically a grown man. He likes to sit in his lounger and just like get a feel for his surroundings. The seat is in this really soft fabric so he just kind of sinks in, but it also still supports his back, his neck. This is just a great place to dock your kid, while supervised, of course. There are so many strollers out there in the market and it really depends on what you're looking for. Personally, we were looking for functionality and so we wanted to get a stroller that had a lot of functions. This is a stroller, but it is also a car seat, which is incredible because when you have a baby, it sucks to take the baby out of the car and into a separate stroller. So I like that this is a two-in-one device. This stroller is incredibly lightweight. This is great for hospital trips, uh, taking to the grocery store, light 
errands, maybe a museum. Personally, I don't think the stroller is great for like walking around the park or anywhere where the ground is uneven. This is extremely lightweight, which is a pro and also a con in some places. Every time our baby naps or goes to sleep, we always turn on the sound machine. This is for both of us. It's for the baby because babies don't like silence. It's very jarring for them because when they're in the womb, it's actually really, really loud. You've got like the heartbeat, you've got the lungs expanding, like all the organs are in function and then they can hear what's going outside as well. So they like the noise and I like that the hatch has 11 different sounds that you can choose from. And this is also beneficial for the parents that are sleeping too because babies aren't very quiet sleepers. They scream, they grunt, they're moaning. Lennon is actually a screamer sleeper. Like He'll like scream in the middle of the night and then we'll rush over to his crib and then we'll see that he's just fast asleep. So it's nice to have like a sound that blocks out the noise to a certain degree. And this one's great because you could also control everything on an app. So this is the bassinet that Lennon sleeps in every night. This is the snoo. Now this is actually quite a contentious item because either babies love this or they hate it. And Lennon, I would say like, 60% loves this. The snoo is like the smartest bassinet on the market. It essentially rocks your baby to sleep. And when you turn on the button, the bassinet will slowly rock back and forth and it will also simultaneously play this like white noise, like sound. Like sometimes we turn it on and we rock it and he loves it and he passes out. Sometimes we turn it on and it rocks and he hates it and he screams and then we turn it off and then he falls asleep. If anything, it's just nice to have this because it's just another tool in our sleep arsenal when we're trying to get him to sleep because when you are trying to get a newborn to sleep, you just want as many tools and options as possible. The snoo is pretty pricey, but you have the option to rent it out each month. So if you get it and you rent it and your baby hates it, you always can send it back. I think one of the reasons why Lennon liked the snoo is because we had it right when he was fresh out the womb. So this is something that he's familiar with and comfortable with. So that's a wrap on all my newborn essentials that I've been loving at the moment. Please let me know any other recommendations in the comments down below. I am definitely a noob in this space, so I love getting all your suggestions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.